I was uh, recently working on my doorbell and I was not having much success and my daughter Peyton was riding her bike up and down the sidewalk and I let out a, a frustration, oh, I can't believe this. And Peyton stopped and said, Dad, never, never, never give up. Never give up. A mantra from Peyton's parents, a source of faith. Their eight-year-old daughter back in the operating room after her slow-growing brain tumor returned. Peyton was first diagnosed and operated on as a baby. When you look at a scan and you see a tumor in your little 18 months old head, we were driven to find, you know, the right physician that would give Peyton the best chance. Debbie, you said that uh, several other places turned you down. Surgeons were scared to pursue the surgery because of the risk involved. That's what brought Joe and Debbie to renowned brain surgeon Ben Carson. Take the risk is part of the answer there, you know. What's the the best thing that happens if I do this and what's the worst thing that happens if I do it? He has been at Hopkins Children's in Baltimore, Maryland for over 30 years. We were able to remove uh, all the girls' tumor when she was a baby. She did great. I can't tell you how many times we've been here since her original diagnosis. This past MRI was just a screening regular MRI and they found the recurrence. Seven years later, uh, we see a, a little one by one centimeter uh, enhancing nodule. And yesterday she walked around the hospital. I'm getting my seat out tomorrow. Dr. Carson is taking my seat out tomorrow. A tool called the 3D wand will help get that seed out. There's no room for sort of guessing in this kind of situation. You have to precisely know where you are. This computer-guided probe lets the surgeon know exactly where his instruments are in Peyton's brain. It's important in this case because the tumor is in a sensitive area. If we injure that, the patient will have a stroke. And the other end of it abuts up against the brain stem. And obviously if we injure that, the patient's going to be paralyzed could offer me anyone, but I would not choose, choose another institution or another surgeon. Every parent dealing with any case, and particularly rare conditions, need to find the right doctor in the right place. Peyton's parents say research is the key. Attack it like you're attacking uh, the best fight you have in your life. Do your research and never give up. So if we had gone with the first medical opinion, even the second medical mm -hmm. opinion, we wouldn't be here today. After a successful second surgery, Peyton is recovering well with her stuffed animal she named Dr. Carson. But you know, um, when, you, when you look at Peyton and her family, uh, that ultimately becomes one of the greatest private exhilarations of a doctor. People are asking me all the time, you know, have you separated Siamese twins? You've done these hemispherectomies. You've done these brainstem tumors. What's the greatest thing you've ever done in terms of a surgical case? And I say, the answer to that is easy. It's the last case that I did. Yes.